hello viewers assalamu alaikum so today i am going to discuss about the parameter effective length that we used in sandernes ratio as well as euler's buckling formula so we know lambda is equal to l effective by r where lambda is the sandernes ratio and l effective is the effective length of the column and r is the radius of gyration so what is that effective length of the column let's see if we draw a column which both ends is fixed then we will see the buckle zone of the column is something like that and that is not the full length of the column that is something like that just far behind from the uh, column support so both support and then this zone is the buckle zone so this is the 50% of the column length which we denotes with k value for this k value is 0.5 so what is k value k value is nothing but buckle shape of different columns with different supports so we will discuss about a chart of k value that we know if both ends are fixed then this kind of shape will be shown so this is 0.5 if one end is pin connected and another end is fixed then the buckle zone will be like that so this is k is equal to 0.7 and another is if this end is rotation fixed and translation free then the buckle shape will be something like that that will represent k is equal to 1 and uh, another is uh, both end is pin connected so the shape will be like that so k is equal to 1 and another is one end is uh, rotation free and also translation free so this end the buckle is higher than its length so it is k is equal to 2 so these two will multiply with the length of the column and another is one end is rotation fixed and translation free and another end is pin connected so this one's rotation this one's buckling shape will be like that so this is also k is equal to 2 so what represents this k values k values represents that the more higher of k value the more buckling will be faced by the uh, column so here buckling increases with the increase of k value so if the actual length of this column is 5 meter then this one's effective length will be double then it will be 10 meter and here if we see the both end is fixed then we will find out that uh, k value is 0 0.5 so this length total actual length will be half so effective length will be half of the total length from this we can find out that uh, the both in fixed column is more efficient than the others so when we find out the critical buckling force from euler's formula then we saw that uh, pcr is equal to pi square ei by l effective square so here's the l effective is the um, effective length so it can be written like that uh, k l square if we find out the stress then it is pi square e by l 
effective by r that means this is a slenderness ratio divided uh, square so it can be also read like write like that so l effective uh, k into l by r whole square so this is the importance of k value that we use in finding buckling of the column